one. Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another adventure. We're here, still in USA, enjoying the best. This is at, this is my um, pit stop, like you say. I could go back to England, but it's uh, too expensive, and you know, there's not much there here. You can really uh, fill up. I feel like a proper American right now. You know, it's getting really building up. You know, good muscle. Give myself so when I go abroad again, when I uh, go abroad again, I'll be able to go days without food because I'll have a lot of foundation on me. You know, I'll have a lot of uh, muscle and, 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 and fat on me as well. So yeah, I'll be able to, you know, it's like when you go Paraguay, you know, or these third world countries, you kind of, you can, you're kind of starving a lot of times. Like you see, if you go to South America, they always have the sunken cheeks and uh, especially on the streets, you know, around Rio de Janeiro, they're always uh, really, really, they look like real, like they're really hungry all the time, they're always starving, they look like zombies. And that's what it is, because everything's po everyone's poor there, so everyone's like thriving over food. So, when I go there after my stay in America for three months and filling up with food and you're bulking up muscle, I feel like I can fast for a long time, I feel like I can survive there because I've got a big foundation. And then after three months being there though, I end up really skinny and sunken cheeks and starving. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to save up some money so that doesn't happen again, so I can have good passive income to, uh, so that doesn't happen. But yeah, this is what happens in America, you get really big. Really, uh, so yeah, but I'll show you, anyways, I'll show you my food now, we're having, this is what I've eaten. Potatoes, potato wedges, got my TV dinner, and we've got, uh, I'll show you the food we had in this, um, Famous Italian bakery. Look at that. We got this. We got strawberry cheesecake, which is absolutely delicious. We went to a special Italian place, and it had all this stuff that's really fresh, like fresh ingredients. And it, like I said, it, like I showed you, showed you in the last video, it looked like something out of uh, South America. It looked like you're in a small little town in, in Italy. And you just walk in and you see these places that just look like. Um, like you walk down, like, 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 like Naples, you walk, walk down the, the streets of Naples, it's absolutely beautiful. And you walk in these places that are run by an Italian grandma. She was actually Italian. And we got the famous cannoli. All this American food, you can only get this stuff in America. That's a real cannoli. If you watch the Pranos, you've heard them talk about cannolis all the time. And this, I'll show you my food. Muffins. These are real pastries. You find these in New York. Uh, in like little Italy. Yeah, but America's the best of the food. But the only th one thing you have to watch out for is the corn syrup, because everything has corn syrup in it. Um, and that's why the first week I was so full of energy, so agile, but after a while I started to bulk up muscle, and it just, you know, when you bulk up muscle, you feel like, if you bulk, if you bulk up like, you know, really good muscle, you feel like it's a lot to maintain, you know, because you, you're having extra weight on your body. So you wake up and you walk and you sometimes ache. So sometimes when I used to just do push-ups and I was really light and just do push-ups, sit-ups and squats, I kind of felt a bit healthier, a bit more agile, a bit more athletic because I was more, more toned. But now I'm kind of like um, putting on some muscle. It's kind of aches a lot as well. So that's the good look. So people you see the really big guys, these big guys, it really aches unless you've got a lot of protein. Like, unless you're like, but that costs a lot of money to spend all that money on food. Um, so yeah, but this is good. Really I bought this some liver. Liver, my favourite food ever, because obviously you are what you eat, so if you eat liver and it cleanses your liver. And I keep saying for everyone, if you have a clean liver, then you have if you look after your organs, then you look after your entire body. This is the tiramisu and it's just absolutely the best cake. I'm, I'm not just saying this, it's the most tasteless cake in the world. I think it has coffee and some alcohol in it, and I think that's what taste makes it taste that's it, amazing. And it has that we have got our Pizza rabbits. Looks like something from England. This is a real like if you see, you see like I was in Paraguay. You see, they have Easter eggs all around Paraguay or around Easter time. But this is real, real um, English kind of Easter. I like this because this is this like it looks like something you get from your grandma. You know the way they have the color the, the cartoons. And Peter Rabbit from England. So yeah, I'm so glad I got this because it's got a little book inside as well about Peter Rabbit, the uh, English book. So yeah, we received that from Easter. Yeah, America's good for lots of sweets, lots of sweets, but it just, after a while you might feel a bit sick, but it's good, for, um, it's, so you have to balance it out a bit. And then, then we've got one more cake. 
all these cakes, this is the third cake, and this is real cheesecake. You look at that, that is all real thick cheese. Not like the cheesecakes you see in England where it's really thin. This is real cheese, like real thick cheese. And yeah, we've got some stuff. And we've got these drinks here. These drinks here, we have these, really tasty, really good for, uh, I had these when I was gardening or working out. This is what they have like for sports drinks, but if you look at the back here, it's like 21 grams added sugar and all these different uh, ingredients I've never heard of. Water, sugar, 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 uh, you know, sodium, all these different ingredients that you don't need to have. And it's like, yeah, 22 carbs, 21 grams of sugar, and it's like, that's, that's like, that's like half of, Half of, yeah, half of what you need in a day. It says 41% of your recommended daily allowance of sugar. So that's one thing. American food is the best in the world because that's food all around the world. But you just gotta watch out for the the high fructose corn syrup. That stuff is poison, um, and that's in all the food. And that's what makes Americans so addicted to the food. Like if I stay here, even now I feel it. Like I, I have cravings like for, for this and that and. Oh, yeah, I have these, all these cakes. 